Well, I didn't get started until I was 38. I was a chemistry professor and a former athlete, but I liked to go to the musicals back in Clearwater, Florida, where I live. And they had this uh, uh, movie theater that I'd grown up watching movies and they turned it into a theater. And there was a play called 1776, needed 26 men. I figured if I didn't get in that, I was barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> I played a uh, Scotsman, and then I played Brigadoon. Then I found out I couldn't sing, so I switched to non-musicals, and this actually will be my fifth decade of doing shows. I really enjoy it. Wow, that's awesome. And I'm old, obviously. <laughs>I started a year and a half ago when we were first going to do this, so it made it easier for me. I have found it to be uh, grueling because of my age, but uh, it's a great show and it's a demanding show. Right. Everybody in this show has got something that's real important. I'm like a man for all seasons and uh, wait until dark. Those are two really good plays. Okay. And if you could uh, tell the viewers something at home about this show, what would it be? Well, it has a lot of twists and turns. I don't want to let cats out of the bag, but um, I, I'm a defense attorney for a person who people at the beginning in the audience may not like. But uh, if you listen to what happens as it goes along, you may or may not change your mind. The thing is that there are many twists and turns, and in the end... It's going to be interesting how each uh, jury member selects. It could definitely go either way, 50-50.